Nature has its way of amusing us. From the animals we see inhabiting the land to the animals we feature here in our aquatic related channel, there's no doubt that nature has provided us with an enriched environment to live in. However, most of these creatures won't possibly live longer and be healthier without the presence of one of the primary sources of food in the world. None other than plants. And we know full well that plants were not only used for food production, but also as a good source of oxygen, a form of medical supply, home aesthetics, and even a source of peace of mind in the surrounding environment. All of which may be applied to your fish tank too. But how? The answer is through the use of the magical carpet plants. You heard it right. These plants are the most impressive sights in the hobby and are used in many aquascape styles, including various nature style and biotope setups. Hey, don't judge these plants by their aesthetic features, because there's more to carpet plants than just a sigh of sparkling beauty. These plants offer benefits like nitrate assimilation, oxygenation by releasing oxygen molecules in the water for fish to survive, and habitat creation, wherein carpet plants provide perfect hiding and spawning grounds for your fish pets. Isn't it incredible to add these plants to your tank? I know you agree with me, plant lovers. So, if you want to try this out, stay with me till the end of this video. Give us a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button for more fun and exciting information on the fish keeping hobby. Now that you've reached this part of the video, it's time to break down the 11 best aquarium carpet plants for your fish. Let's start with the Micranthemum Monte Carlo. This all green aquatic plant has small rounded leaves that create a soft and lush look in the foreground of the aquarium. Monte Carlo is a versatile plant that forms a dense carpet in a tank, has a fast growth rate if given enough light, and performs best with increased CO2 levels. Second on our list is the dwarf hair grass. If you're searching for a grass lawn lookalike, this one's for you. The carpet plant has a terrific color and texture. Runners spread dwarf hair grass to cover the bottom of the tank with horizontal growth. Growing a very dense carpet of dwarf hair grass will require more intense lighting levels, injected CO2 and a rich substrate. Can you believe that you can have hundreds of pearls? Yeah! When you add dwarf baby tears to your tank, that is. This carpet plant has a texture, smaller leaves and a feature that resembles a gleaming pearl in water. It is a fantastic aquarium carpet plant for the more experienced aquarist because it requires excellent water quality, high quality lighting and most importantly, stable CO2 injection levels to thrive. This plant is suitable for nano-planted aquariums that need a fine textured ground cover. Fourth on our list is a carpet plant called Dwarf Sagittaria. If you're beginning to try to add plants to your tank, this is an excellent choice for you. Dwarf Sagittaria has a coarser texture, resembling a broadleaf grass plant. Plants like this thrive in coastal regions, and it's one of the best carpet plants for aquarists with more challenging water. Dwarf Sagittaria is easy to propagate, however this dwarf will perform best with high light and CO2 for a dense carpet. Try out Java Moss in our fifth spot. This versatile plant can create a healthy carpet over your aquarium substrate, hardscape, and even walls. However, Java Moss doesn't come rooted in the substrate. This means it must be attached to the surface by tying, gluing, or sandwiching it between aquarium safe mesh. Tis the season to be jolly because having Christmas moss in your tank will always remind you of this holiday season. This aquarium plant makes a fantastic carpet over hardscape features like driftwood and lava stone. Still, it can be grown over a fiber mat and positioned anywhere in the aquarium. Like Java moss, this species is adaptable to low lighting and can be grown in a low-tech tank. The eighth carpet plant is the Elatine Hydropiper. This rare plant has tiny leaves, making it a great choice if you own a nano aquarium. Like most carpeting plants, Elatine Hydropiper requires good light and stable CO2 levels to stay low and healthy. Many growers begin this aquatic carpet plant with a dry start, allowing for good root development. Four-leaf clover will undoubtedly bring luck to your tank. This four-leaf clover is considered an excellent foreground carpeting plant when grown under medium to high light. But this aquatic plant under any circumstances makes a superb aquarium carpet too. Marsalea hirsuta is a tiny fern and it can be grown in medium light, although four-leaf clover will prefer more light, so take note of that, fish keepers. For our ninth plant on our list, welcome the Microsword into your life. The Microsword is a great foreground plant that loves nutrient-rich growing conditions. This grass-like plant has a medium blade width, somewhere between dwarf hairgrass and dwarf sagittaria. 
A micro sword can stay compact and form a superb carpet if grown under high light and planted close together. Glossostigma is the tenth carpet plant that you should know. This beautiful plant is often called Glosso for short. Glosso may not be the easiest aquarium carpet plant to grow, but it is a hardy species with a wide temperature tolerance. Its light green leaves can form a thick carpet if given high light and access to good carbon dioxide levels. Under these conditions, grass overgrows and trims easily. The Anubius Nana Petit is last but not least. Suppose you're an avid fan of this channel. You indeed encountered this plant in our previous videos. Anubius Nana Petit can make an excellent aquarium carpet plant for small areas. This is a slow growing species, so you'll need plenty of patience if you plan on propagating it from just a few plants. On the plus side, it can be used to form a carpet over hardscape features, and because of its slow growth rate, it requires very little maintenance. Now that you have the carpet plants, you need to know you can't just leave them in your aquarium and let your fish do the rest. You have to understand how to grow these plants as well. And for you to know how to deal with it, we will highlight in this video the ABCs of growing your carpet plants without having to wait any longer. Let's start with the process of planting. Being thoughtful about positioning your carpet plants can save time and money. In time, the plants will spread to cover up the area if growing conditions are good. You can plant each section using your fingers, but a long pair of stainless aquarium tweezers can make the task more accessible and precise. The dry start method is a fast and reliable way of starting a carpeted aquascape. This method only works by placing the substrate and hardscape into an empty tank and moistening the soil. The plants are placed in positions and allowed to grow immersed until they have established strong and healthy root systems. Unfortunately, this method can only be used to start a newly cycled planted tank, and melting will occur as the plants grow from immersed to submerged. Here's a list of plants that is ideal and not suitable for this method. Check out Aaron's Aquatic for detailed steps on executing this method. The link is down below. Being mindful of the use of substrate is also essential. Many excellent substrate products on the market today can be reliably used to grow incredible carpets. Some aquarists prepare their own dirt mediums, but I recommend starting with a quality pre-made substrate like ADA Aquasoil or Tropica. Aquarium soils are designed to include the nutrients plants need while providing the ideal structure for rooting and water flow. Filtration is another thing you should put in mind. Filters trap physical waste particles, removing them from suspension and making a cleaner, better looking aquarium. Water flow is a factor that should be considered when maintaining a planted aquarium. Plants need good water flow to access carbon dioxide and nutrients in the water column. An external filter is the best option because it can house large amounts of filtration media with plenty of surface area for bacterial colonization. Good lighting for a tank can maintain a healthy carpet of live plants. As a general rule, plants grow shorter, denser, and more compact under intense lighting levels. Plants will stretch themselves up in low light to get closer to the light source above them, which is no sound when growing a carpet. It would be best if you noted that the strength and spectrum of light the height of the aquarium and timing are essential in setting up lighting. And since we're talking about plants, carbon dioxide is essential for them to live and grow. Unfortunately, the levels need to be higher to promote the dense, lush growth aquarists seek. You must set up a pressurized system to maintain perfect CO2 concentrations in your planted aquarium. These systems are great for maintaining CO2 levels within a safe range and creating optimum plant growth in the aquarium. The following is an example of a carbon dioxide system. For more detailed information on growing these carpet plants, visit our website at AquariumStoreDepot.com where tons of our blog posts are available to read. Growing requires maintenance, which we'll discuss in the latter part of this video. You got it right, fish keepers. We still need to finish because here is some brief information about carpet plant maintenance you should start doing. First, keep in mind the right fertilizer. Root feeding plants gain most of the nutrients from soil around their roots and thrive in rich aquarium soil. Root tabs are small, slow-release fertilizer capsules that can be inserted into the soil around the roots of your plant. Second, trimming and shaping your aquarium carpet plants will encourage lateral growth and a healthy root system development. A curved pair of aquascaping scissors make this job a breeze. Straight scissors have a place too, especially when creating neat edges. Third. Algae and pest management can be resolved when plants become established and begin to outcompete the algae for nutrients. 
Some fish and invertebrates on your screen can feed specifically on algae, and these aquatic friends will be more than happy to do their bit. There is nothing better than a heavily planted tank with a beautiful green carpet that's thriving. And since growing live aquatic plants has become increasingly popular nowadays, we at Aquarium Store Depot are always here to guide you in choosing which carpet plants are better for your tank while considering some things. You can visit our website at AquariumStoreDepot.com for detailed information on growing and maintaining carpet plants inside your tank. Please give us a thumbs up and ring that notification bell to be updated on our newly uploaded videos. Thanks for watching, fish keepers. We'll see each other on the following topic.